In the book of John chapter 6 from verses 5 to 13, a large crowd approaches Jesus, prompting him to ask Philip where they could buy enough bread to feed everyone. However, Jesus already knows what he intends to do. Testing Philip, Jesus receives a response suggesting that 200 denarii would not be enough to provide even a small amount of bread for each person. Another disciple, Andrew, mentions a boy with five barley loaves and two small fish, though he questions the significance of such a small provision among the vast crowd. Undeterred, Jesus instructs the people to sit down in the abundant grass. Taking the five loaves and two fish, Jesus offers thanks and distributes them to the disciples, who then distribute them to the crowd. Miraculously, the food multiplies and around 5,000 men are fed. After everyone is satisfied, Jesus instructs the disciples to gather the leftover fragments, filling 12 baskets with the remains of the five barley loaves. This miracle illustrates Jesus' divine power and abundance, emphasizing the importance of trust and faith even when faced with seemingly insufficient resources. Seat tight and immerse yourself in the splendor of God's Word as we uncover a portion of the spiritual insight and revelation of this beautiful passage. Now understand that Jesus demonstrated a simple act, yet a very profound one. There were 5,000 men and an unknown number of women and children to be fed. But we can agree to the fact that wherever there is a gathering of men, women and children, the women are usually more and children most in number. So, to be fair, let's say there were 5,000 men, 5,000 women and 5,000 children making a total of 15,000 persons to be fed with just five barley loaves and two fish. But notice this, Jesus Christ being faced with an impossible situation did something unusual in verse 11. After he received the five loaves of bread and two fish, he gave thanks, distributed it, and there was multiplication. Please never forget this. There are times in life when the calculations do not make sense, seasons when things don't work, times when it looks impossible, times when it looks lost seasons when it fails, and times when it do not go as planned. What you must do at such a season is this, take a pause and give thanks. A man of thanksgiving can enter God's gate of the supernatural in the natural. Remember it is written, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Notice that in verses 5 and 6 of the passage, Jesus already knew what to do, but he asked his disciples what could be done to see their response. In everything, God always knows what to do. Never stop giving him thanks. You may have seen the sign and not seen the evidence, give thanks. You may have seen the five loaves and two fish, but have not seen the multiplication, give thanks. You may have received the prophecy, promise and declarations, but have not seen the manifestation, give thanks. You may have seen the mail and interview, but have not gotten the job, give thanks. You may have been engaged, but not wedded, give thanks. You may have gotten married, but not conceived, give thanks. God does not alpha something and let the devil omega it. In other words, God does not start something and lets the devil complete it. Notice that Jesus Christ gave thanks when what he had was not enough. It is essential to know and understand that your thanksgiving or praise does not make the Lord bigger, but it makes him bigger in your eyes. Never get to a point in life when what is not enough lets you dictate who God is. Instead, let God handle the not enough. Jesus Christ did not entertain fear amid the challenge. Instead, after he received the five loaves and two fish, he gave thanks and multiplication emerged. Thanksgiving switches on the supernatural in physical situations that look practically impossible. So, when you want to manifest the supernatural, give thanks to God. Remember, Jesus received the loaves and fishes, he did not acquire them. A deep truth I must tell you today is that no man owns anything in this world. The life, 
properties, beauty, health, resources, children, and so on, is a privilege received from God. When you thank God for any of these, you attract the supernatural over it. And whatever you thank God for, the devil cannot touch it. Notice that Jesus broke the bread and fishes and a miracle came out of it. You are listening and watching right now, and you are currently in a broken situation that seems to have no solution. Is it barrenness? Is it sickness? Is it a loss? Whatever it may be, this passage shows us that miracles are born from broken things. All you have to do is give thanks on behalf of that broken situation. Remember, Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Finally, notice that in verses 11 and 12 of the passage, Jesus gave an instruction to distribute the bread and fish, and after it was done, there was a remnant of 12 baskets full with everyone filled. Whenever there is a supernatural intervention from thanksgiving, there is always an instruction that follows, which then leads to an overflow. Find and obey that instruction. As you increase and grow in life, every single new position, new level, new resource, new relationship, new idea, new vision, you get has an instruction. Find and follow the instructions. Many fallen great men got to great heights in destiny and lost it because they lacked the instructions needed to guide them into an overflow to maintain that level they got to. Please never forget this. Do not let history record you as a man or woman who missed an overflow and failed after a breakthrough due to ignorance of the instructions needed for continuity. A short prayer I pray for you today. As you have watched and listened to these words of wisdom and revelation, may the God who made the heavens and the earth continue to bless, guide and protect you. I pray that he gives you the heart of a thanksgiver, so you will always manifest the supernatural in every area of your life in Jesus' mighty name. If you found value in today's biblical insights and real-life connections to God's Word, kindly share this video, hit the like button, and subscribe to Judah's Lion. Don't forget to also hit that notification bell so you stay updated with our transformative content. Join our community of believers, and let's continue this journey of understanding, inspiration, and encouragement together. Remember, Every subscription and notification click is an affirmation of your commitment to spiritual growth. Thank you for being a part of Judah's Lion, where the word meets your world.